why you'll see so many Google TV enabled televisions at CES 2012. While most of us expected to see lots of internet enabled televisions at CES, there are going to be a lot more of those that are powered by Google as opposed to the manufacturer's specific version of internet enabled television. Samsung televisions, like the one behind me, have been internet enabled for quite a while, but they use a custom Samsung proprietary software. As more and more providers are opting to take Google TV, you start to wonder why it is that Samsung would give up its branding and its ability to sell advertising or really make that relationship with the customer one-to-one. -one. And it turns out that it's because Google's just cutting them a check. Google is actually paying to have televisions enabled with the Google TV experience. This is because Google wants to be to the new media television what it has been to the web space for the past however many years. IPTV, internet television, and broadcast television are starting to merge and we're starting to see the lines between each of them blur. IPTV is traditional television delivered over IP. That's like AT&T U-versus service where you have video that is broadcast but is delivered over an IP format. Then there's broadcast television like you're used to getting with cable or Fios or off of your rabbit ears. And then there's internet television that's like Hulu where you browse the experience, you choose the thing, and it streams to you. Well, Google TV wants to see those all sorts of merge so that you can't tell what the underlying technology behind them is. By enriching broadcast television with internet enabled features or enabling you to use internet features while you're watching broadcast television, Google can create a unified experience across those three technology types. And it wants to be the gatekeeper on those. In fact, Google is talking about building a competitor to Apple TV or to Xbox Live Video Marketplace that's from Microsoft and would do live streaming and video on demand via their set-top box or their internet-enabled television. By taking that approach, Google really wants to be the media and ad partner of the future. And in a lot of ways, that's scary to me because Google already owns so much of the advertising space on the web, I'd hate to see them also own most of the advertising space against video content. Not because I totally hate Google, just I like there to be competition in the marketplace. And as Google starts to adopt more and more of the ad platforms by being on more of the platforms, and specifically by buying their way into those platforms, it starts to make Google a pretty scary player in the privacy spot because now they not only know where you're browsing, but they know what you're watching. And in the marketplace where they are becoming a provider uh, through Google Wallet of transactions. So they can now say, we showed this video, it had these pieces of content in it. We now know the person went out and saw the Nikes that somebody was wearing in their show bought them online and you know actually went out to the website looking for them and then clicked the purchase button through Google Wallet. And so you're starting to see Google have cradle to grave on purchases, which starts to be great for marketers and great for salespeople. But for me, it's a real invasion of the privacy to say, yes, I can be influenced by what I see on television and this is how much it influences me and this is the type of advertising you ought to be sending me because I'm a gullible person and I will buy things of this type. So, yeah, that's a long story about why it is that we'll start to see more televisions powered by Android because Google is paying television manufacturers to run Android because Google wants to own advertising in every one of the places and start its own video on demand platform so that it can compete with Microsoft and Apple in that space. So again, apologize, really long video, but there was a backstory as to why Google wants to be on your TV.